Previously on Hell's Kitchen. We murdered these dudes. After another dinner service victory, the red team was flying high. It felt real good to me. While the men hit a new low. We cannot lose anymore. This is a disgrace. At the high stakes challenge. We're going to test your creativity. The red team. I love Robin. The sauce. The sauce. Chose to present Robin's dish over Kimmy's. I'm so mad because I worked my ass off on this steak. A decision. Robin. It's soggy and it's overcooked. That proved to be costly. Men win. But Chef Ramsay was curious. Kimmy, I want to taste your dish. It is delicious. I feel so much redemption right now, you have no idea. Bad choice, ladies. That would have given Clemenza a run for his money. During punishment. I'm not going to talk to anybody unless I need to. That's kind of bitch. Kimmy was having none of Robin's bad attitude. I totally outshined that bitch, and she's totally jealous. As Hell's Kitchen got ready to open for family steak night. I'm continuing to get kicked out of me every single day. Patrick sought strength from his family. Dave wants to win this. And in the red kitchen. Tiffany's onions, they were too thick. Barbie was fed up with Tiffany. Tiffany doesn't care about her standards. And Tiffany was fed up with Barbie. Barbie knows everything. She knows how to cook everything. She needs to mind her own business. I could just break something over her head right now. Then, just as dinner service was ready to begin. Oh my God, what just happened? I just burnt my hand. Disaster struck the red team as Kimmy was scalded with pan grease all the way up her arm. Ooh, I just have to get back in there. You're not allowed to go back in my kitchen. Like ASAP. You're not going back in there. Tonight, find out if Kimmy's severe burn keeps her from dinner service. Ah. In one of the most explosive Hell's Kitchens ever. Watch me call him bitch. What are you going to do? Hit me cry some more. Cry, baby. As the fight to become head chef at Gordon Ramsay's steak at the Paris Las Vegas gets ugly. Hit me. I'm going to hit, hit me. Because I hit ain't a child like you. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. It's moments before Hell's Kitchen opens for steak night. Oh my god, medic! What's what happened? Happened? I just burnt my hand. And the women have suffered a big casualty. What happened? Oh my god, what happened? Kimmy got burnt bad. Oh my god. Clemenza, take it to the medic. Yes, yeah, chef. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, shh, shh. Come on. Is she gonna be all right? Come on, don't give up. I am worried about Kimmy. I hate to see her like this, and I hate that this is happening to her right now. And we need her in the kitchen, so I'm hoping that she's OK. So this just now happened right yeah, here, right yeah. now? <laughs> I know it hurts. I know it hurts. Let's go. It hurts so bad. How did you manage to burn yourself all the way up there? What were you know. doing? I'm grabbing the pants. OK, breathe. Just breathe while I do this. The good news is it's only a burn. My hand hurts like hell, but this is not the end for me. I'm here to win this competition, so I am not giving up. Just a real quick, I know you want to get back out there. Good luck. Thank you. Get that one dry. Hey, you OK, Kimmy? Yeah, I'm good. Yay, Kimmy. Proud of Kimmy. She came back with like a two-inch burn on her hand. She's fighting back. That's some dedication. You go, girl. Everyone's like, go, Kimmy. Are you kidding me? She's a baby. She is a Cry, baby. Uh, ladies, let's go. Yes, chef. Kimmy, concentrate. Yes, chef. I'm about to bounce back. I know I can do this, burnt hand or not. I'm going to rock out on this meat station. You got this, girl. James. Yes, chef. Open steak night in Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Yes, chef. Delighted to. Steak night at Hell's Kitchen and family night as well. Tonight's special menu features a ribeye steak with fingerling potatoes and sautéed spinach topped with a fried egg, a grilled hanger steak served with truffle fries and herbed compound butter, and Justin's challenge-winning filet mignon. And for the young diners, there's also a kids' menu. You ready, honey? I'm gonna have the ravioli. 
Cheeseburger. 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 All right. As a special treat, each child will also receive a mini pizza appetizer. I wonder if the blue will win or the red. Here we go. Six covered table, 31. Two children, two pizzas, fire. Yes, chef. Yes. Two smoked salmon, two shrimp cocktails. Yes, yes, chef. yes chef. Let's go, ladies. Yes, chef. And blue team, two covered table, 21. One wedge salad, two pizza. Yes, yes, chef. yes, chef. Two pizzas coming. I come from New York City, and let me tell you something. I grew up in a pizzeria, so got a little experience, to say the very least. In all honesty, I was kind of enjoying myself. Coming right now, chef. Come on, Tremenza. Great pizzas. Service, please. Let's go. Pizza's out. While the bambinos on the blue side are already enjoying Clemenza's pizza, young diners on the red side have been left waiting. There's a lovely little lady there waiting for her pizza. Come on, Tiffany! Yes, chef! You're so slow! Yes, chef! I really hate cooking for children. Kids don't know what fine dining is, so their opinions really don't matter to me. It's burnt, look! Just cut that part off. Who gives a I really don't like kids at all. Pizza, how long? Coming right now, chef! Come on, please! Yes, chef! The idea of the pizza be served first. This side's all right, but like, I don't want to eat that. It's for kids. Hey. Stop! Yes, chef. Now we're sending burnt pizza, not crispy and delicious. Burnt. Burnt with bits of in there. What is going on? All of you, get a grip. Yes, yes, chef. yes chef. Ow. Just hit me in the head. Ow. The more I work with Tiffany, the more I wonder why she's a chef. She doesn't care. So I'm getting the station back on track. One pizza urgently, please. Yes, chef. Here's your next pizza. Uh Let's go, ladies. Yes, yes chef. chef. I got. I f hate the stupid look she gives to people. I can't stand it no more. I've just had it with Barbie's attitude. Like, she thinks she's God or something. Pizza's coming out. Here you go. Right. Pizza chef. Thank you so much. Table 50, please. Let's go. Get off your high horse. You're not good at cooking. Like, ugh, hate her. One more pizza. Pizza coming, chef. Let's go. While Barbie steps up to save Tiffany's pizza station. Pizza's in. On the blue side. Let's go, blue team. Four covers away, table 20. Two wedge salad, two smoked salmon. Yes, yes, chef. It's now up to Brian on appetizers to keep the positive momentum going. Let's go. Get those blinis up. Get the blinis on first. I'll I... make the plate. Get the blinis on. All right, all right. Don't worry. Super caballito está aquí. Cucinando my style in the kitchen is very light. I do a lot of voices all the time, and the guys love it. Ah, donde estas mis pantalones? Just shut the up, man. It's not even funny, honestly. Brian, tell me when you're a few away, man. Todo tiempo necesita hablando con todos los otros personas aquí en la línea. What? I, what the did he just say? I have no idea. Brian's an annoying kind of dude. Dos hamburguesas sin queso, por favor. I had enough of his. Either shut your pie hole and learn how to communicate. I always wanted to make bellinis ever since I was a little boy. Smoke salmon. Answer them. Smoke salmon. Smoke salmon. Coming right now, chef. I've got bellinis. Bellinis, ready. Don't make the bellinis too small. They can't layer anything on there. Can you make some more? Make some more. How can you sit something on that size? Look. Yes, chef. It yes, needs chef. to be there. Yes, chef. I gotta make new, uh, new bellinis, so give me a sec. Eight Bellinis away. We're making something so simple look so difficult. Yes, Chef. Stay with it, Brian. Concentrate. Brian, pay attention. Please. Keep making Bellinis. Let's go. Blip, blip. The flavors are really nice. Oh. Unbelievable. Oh, just shut up, Brian. Hey, I've got one big imitation. Yes, Chef. Try imitating being a chef for two minutes. Yes, Chef. Yes? Yes. Brian. Hello. It's ready, chef. Give it to me, then, you <laughs> idiot. Yes, chef. Coming right now. Keep Smoke sand. Okay, not so sloppy either, Brian. Yes, chef. <laughs> off, Brian. Yeah. Yes, chef. Seriously, enough's enough. Why I like your funny side? I want to see your serious side yes, now. Yes, chef. Oh, off. Yes, chef. I got it, chef. Me. Unbelievable. While Brian tries to get serious, over in the red kitchen, Tiffany... I got your bellinis working right now. ...is attempting to redeem herself on appetizers. Two smoked salmon, two shrimp cocktail. How long? We're waiting on the bellinis. 30 seconds, chef. Come on, Tiffany. You're gonna speed up a little bit, then. It's like you're fast asleep on there. Yes, chef. About 20 seconds, chef. 
Tiffany just has no respect for the food. I don't think they're gonna take that. Yeah. Who cares, Dana? Let's go. She doesn't care about anything. The only thing that I have seen her passionate about in Hell's Kitchen is a cigarette. Some cocktails done. I'm drinking two smoked salmon. Bring it up right away, let's go. Walking, walking. Right behind. Two smoked salmon. Hey ladies, all of you, come here. Come here. The secret of a good kitchen, a good chef, is consistency. Yes, yeah, chef. What is this? You can't give me one perfect one, I'm one one. That's my fault, okay. chef. Oh, Tiffany. Off, lady chef. Come on, Tiffany. Can more than one of you start making blini? Yes, chef. I'll start oh, making blini. Can someone start leading a little bit? Yes, chef. I got it. Once again, it's pandemonium. So, okay, I'll fix it. I'm about there with blini. I just can't take it anymore. Like, I don't want help. Barbie thinks she runs this place. I've just had it. Two smoked salmon coming. Here you go. Service, please. Two smoked salmon. Go, 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 go. Nice. Very good. Yes, chef. Very nice indeed. Perfect weenie chef. Okay. God. Had it with a attitude. All right, all right, guys. Barbie steps up once again, and red diners are enjoying their appetizers. Meanwhile, on the blue team, Clemenza, it's coming. Justin, that's the first order of Bellinis, and Brian, Bellinis will be up in three seconds, man, have hit their stride. Behind you, chef. And appetizers are flying out of the kitchen. Hey, blue team, the appetizers are rolling out. Now we're hitting the entrees. Let's go. Three fillet, three ribeye. Yes, yeah. chef. It's time to start selling Chef Ramsay a mean business. It's steak night, and this is what Gordon Ramsay steak in Las Vegas is all about. So I'm bringing energy, stamina, passion, drive, commitment, and team. Chef, everybody's on your right. Right behind you with the garnish. No sir. Look at it. Hello there. Well, look at it. It's like boiled meat. Oh, f off, guys. All of you, come here. Look at the meat. No sear. Just like boils. Where's the sear? I get it right, Chef. Tonight is steak night. Let's go, yes, Chef. While Patrick refires his ribeyes. Oh, brother. Over in the red kitchen. Oh, wait now, two fillet, two hanger steak. Yes, yes, Chef. Let's go. It's now up to Kimmy on meat and Robin on the grill to get entrees moving out of the red kitchen. Two fillet, what was that one? Two fillet, two hanger, right? Yes. Two fillet, two hanger? Yes. Oh, I was making sure you, you don't need to scream, Robin. Robin is acting crazy as right now. I honestly think she's still holding the grudge from the challenge about that ribeye. Kimmy, let me know when you're walking, okay? Sure will. Kimmy, I'm cunning, okay? Yeah, I'm slicing, dude. Can I walk? Uh, give me just one second. Can I walk? Damn it. You guys, how long? Two minutes, chef. Two minutes. How much? These steaks are huge. It's not my fault. It's not my fault, dude. Really? Kimmy, she doesn't know what she's doing. Bitch. Running! All right, running! I got it, I got it. Bitch. You all right with that? No, nowhere near it. Oh, Here we go, it's going down. Kimmy's gonna get yelled at. This is gonna be fun, folks. Get the popcorn, because it's about to get good. All of you! Yes, Chef. Come here. Hey, look, we can't even get steak cooked. It's badly sliced. Who did what here? Kimmy, Robin, look at me. Who done it then? It's an hour and a half into Hell's Kitchen Steak Night. The red team has delivered their first entrees to the pass. All of you! Yes, Chef. We can't even get steak cooked. But Chef Ramsay has a question for Kimmy and Robin. Who did what here? I did the fillets. I cut the steak, Chef. Look at the way it's sliced. It's like being cut with a spoon. It's not even sliced there. And then next to it, where's the fillet? That's cooked beautifully. Sliced beautifully. Hell yeah! I knew my was right. Robin is up, and I'm just out shining her. I got one up right now. Much up, guys. How much simpler do I have to make it? Yes, Chef. I need, can I get a uh, slice of knife, please? Killing me, man. While Kimmy and Robin start over on their first table of entrees, in the blue kitchen, Patrick is desperate to impress with his refired ribeyes. I'm going up to the pass. Behind you. Behind you, Chef. I start off rough with under-seared steaks. I know I'm making mistakes, but I know I have it in me. I know I'm a special chef. Finally, hello. That's the way to see me. There you Thank go. you, chef. Woo, I'm so happy. I got this now. I'm back on track. Service, please. Blue team, away, table 22, yeah? Concentrate. Three fillet, one hanger steak. Yes, chef, four minutes. 
Royce doesn't even answer. Three fillet, one hanger. Tell yes, me three fillet, one hanger. Three fillet, one hanger. One more time. Three fillet, one hanger. One more time. Three fillet, one hanger. One more time. Three fillet, one hanger. I got two minutes on mine. Dad, give me three minutes. Three minutes, Chef. On, on what? Two fillet, one hanger. Oh my. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I, three fillet. So, I, oh. three fillet, one hanger. Hey, you. Hey, f it. Hey, come here, you. Hey, you. You, fun me. Let's go. Yes. Patrick, f off. Ah, oh, f me. Hey, outside, get some fresh air. F off. Ah, <laughs> uh, I yelled too, like an idiot. It's a stupid bonehead move, and I, I can't believe with all my experience I up like that. I can't believe it. I can't. I know I've made my mistakes in the kitchen, but I do not quit, and I'll always fight. I can get this right. Chef, may I come back to the kitchen? Get on there, you. Yes, Chef. What's going? Three fillet, one hanger. There you go. How long on that hanger? They're coming out right now. With Patrick back in the game on the meat station, over in the red kitchen. Walking with fillet. Hangers walking up. Robin is ready with her hanger refire, and the red team is praying that it is worthy of being sent out by Chef Ramsay. Nice. Very good. Service, please. Here we go. I know the trick of the table 64. Ribeye, Ludemere, Filet. Yes, yes, chef. yes, Chef. The red team is ready to move on to their second table. And Chef Ramsay. Can you ladies pick it up at all? Is hoping that the red kitchen has finally found their rhythm. Hold on. I'm ready to slice. I'm ready with the fish. Can I run? Yeah, go. Behind, running now. Are you serious? What's the matter, girl? It would have been information that would have been useful in a minute ago. Hey, I need, uh, I just need a minute, Christina. I'm with you. You just told me to run. She just told me to run the fish up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You have to talk to her and talk, also, Robin. But she just heard it, it said run. I didn't hear your garnish, Robin. Christina, <laughs> it, it. I'm with you. When are you gonna be ready, babe? 45 seconds 45 on. 45 seconds yes, thank the window you. hurt. Oh my God, my fish is dying. You know what, you can go yourself because now I know where we stand. This is where the sabotage starts. Christina, how long, baby? You ready? Yes. Go with sauce, walk with sauce. Filet, ribeye. Honestly, it gets worse. All of you, come here. Just touch that fish there. Just touch how dry. It's got more wrinkles on it than I have, and I'm 44 years of age. That should be cooked fresh. He's not gonna yell at us, he's yelling at one of the chefs. How long ago did you cook that? Three minutes ago. Three minutes ago? Yes, chef. That's fresh, three minutes ago, touch. That is nasty. I took it off three minutes ago and I covered it. So, again, All when right. did you cook it? Seven minutes ago then. Oh, seven minutes ago. Well, I took it out three minutes ago, so four minutes for it to cook, so seven minutes ago. Chef. Yeah, maybe 17 minutes ago. <laughs> You've got to be out of your mind to, to a lot of Chef Ramsay because he knows. He's not stupid. What's going on with the fish, Kimmy? i got to refire it. Three minutes. Get rid of that. I wouldn't even feed that to my cat. While the women start over on entrees, oh, Robin. their hungry diners grow hungrier. Where's the dinner? <laughs> what time? Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen, the men are looking to rally once again. But first, Chef Ramsay has a little quiz for Patrick. What's going? Three filet, one hanger. I want this table coming together at the same time. Yes, Chef. Yes, Got chef. it? Yes, Chef. Chef Ramsay is all over Patrick right now. All right, get your head back in the game. Let's go. But I think that's because he sees a lot in him. Beautiful, Patrick. That's beautiful, man. Slice. I come back in with the fire. I'm like, I'm gonna nail this. You got a few more tables left to go. I'm not giving up. I know I've got all my steaks working. So come on, we can't lose it now. Ah, oh, me. Chef, walk into the pass with two fillet. I put three steaks up, and the last one was rare. Chef, honey, I have two. I'm bringing back one more in 30 seconds. Hell no. I've got two fillet here. Please. I'm come. coming up right now, Chef. I also at the same time. Where's the fillet? It's not there. Right now, Chef. Oh, no. I know I'm in trouble. I'm my pants right now. I got a 50-50 chance I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Chef Filet. Hey. Yes, Chef. Come here, you. Is that what you served me today? No, Chef. Ah, <sighs> oh, Chef, I'm sorry, it's rough. Not good. Not 
good. Hey, throw. Ready? It's two hours into steak night, and after blowing his second chance on the meat station, it's roll. Patrick won't be getting a third. Get out! Ready? Patrick was uh, in his head tonight, and he just couldn't seem to bounce back. He was cooking scared tonight. I'm sorry, girls. I'm sorry, honey. I keep letting my family down. Oh, I'm sorry. And it's very frustrating because they have so much faith in me and they were so proud of me to go here and fulfill the dream. And I'm blowing it. I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. Chef Filet coming at you right now, Chef. Here's your Filet, Chef. Service, please. Justin has come to the rescue, and beautifully cooked steaks are once again making their way out to the dining room. It's really good. Go on Team Blue. Go on Team Blue. Meanwhile, all the red team needs to get their second table of entrees out is for Robin and Kimmy to work together. How long? A minute. Kimmy and Robin need to pull their <laughs> together, or we're going to be screwed. How long on the loo and the filet? How A minute. A minute, Christina. Yeah, a minute. Chef. I just kissed it, so we're walking 30 seconds, 30 seconds past. Yes? Yes. Yeah, I'm just waiting to slice, dude. Slice it. I'm not ready to slice it yet. I got it. I'm not ready to slice but it. But you said a minute, Kimmy, and that's a minute. <laughs> Get me all off of my fish. Hey, you three, come here. What's going on? Come here. What's going on? You said two minutes, so then I... It's resting. It's resting. So then you said a minute and a half. So then, right, and I'm gonna slice at a minute because this is ready. But a minute's passed already. My fish is dying because a minute's really two minutes. No, it's not, dude. I'm counting. All right, I'm wrong. Yeah, you are. This I'm time. not wrong. Wow. Can you get it together? Bitch. This is really starting to piss me off. Service, please. Despite their constant bickering, somehow Robin and Kimmy get it right, and entrees are leaving the kitchen. Really good. Very nice. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen. Two loup de mer, two hang of steak. Yes, 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 chef. Let's go. Chef Ramsay is counting on Royce on the grill to keep up the pace. Two loup de mer, two hang up. Yes, chef. Three minutes. I'm very good at cooking steak. I definitely feel that I'm the Rolls Royce of cooking. I, no, I, I, I got two hangers going up now. Make sure it's cooked correctly, okay? I'm really good at meat temperatures. You just see how it cooks. You just, you're in one with the meat. You melt with it. Roll. All of you, come here. All of you. Yes, chef. A hanger steak, raw and perfect. I knew it was too good to be true. Are you Rolls Royce? <laughs> off. Why the f would he kick me out for nothing? I pushed all my <laughs> out perfect until one table. I mean, come on. I don't get why he never gives me one extra chance. With Royce and Patrick sidelined in the dorm, the remaining members of the blue team. Coming up. Clemenza, you okay? I'm ready. Anytime you want, I'm ready. Push to complete dinner service. Go on and shop, guys. Right in the window right now, chef. Let's do this. What's the next one? Meanwhile, over in the red kitchen. You're not even communicating, Kim. Your minutes are not minutes. Yeah, it is. I know no. how to count. Do you? The women continue to serve up just as much attitude as food. Two on a steak, two new demand, one ribeye, one cheeseburger. Yes, chef. Kimmy, let me know when we're going to walk together, okay? Did you hear me, Kimmy? Oh, my God, Robin, just stop talking to me, for real. Oh, uh, girl, don't even go there with me. Oh, my gosh. We need to work as a team, and you can't do that because you have a personal problem with me. Good, I have a personal problem with you. I cannot stand your ass. My team is like a anchor on a ship, and we are just going down. Cheese right, right here. Okay? Can I get the French no, fries for cheese I have time on the French fries. Can, Can you shut up and stop yelling at me? I am sick of the yelling. You want to talk? Talk. Do no. not yell. Oh, my God, I can't. Look at you all. What a sad situation. Oh, Blue team. Yes, chef. Blue team. Yes, chef. Come here. Who needs you. it? Just we on the fish. Yes, chef. You. On the Come meat. On. Let's go. Chef Ramsay does not need to put the blue team in our kitchen. It's embarrassing. You know, obviously, at that point that the red team has lost tonight. I don't need any 
help, dude. I'm good right now. I don't need nothing. Oh my god. I don't need anything. Right. I'm cool. I understand. I, understand. I don't need it. These are my fish pans. Leave my fish alone. Talk to me, somebody, anybody. What do you need? I got her here listening to me. Dude, who cares? Just cook. They're all yelling and screaming and arguing and the holy it is chaos. Her count on the rib for the second check is what the f my fish. Just shut the f up and cook. Hey, oh hey, my hey. god, I can't. There's I can't. kids in the dining room. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Hey, Dude, you guys pull it together. How long in the rib eye? Rib eye, three minutes. <laughs> Stupid dumb bitch. You gotta go back because the plays that you f up. Yeah. Maybe her count f up. Cry, baby, she is. Hold on. Behind, running now. Walking right behind. Hangers are up. They're up, okay. Yes. The check is off! Hey, 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 I all just stop! Come here, all of you. Just touch them. Put your hand on top. Put your hand on Put your hand on top! I'm pulling it on, top. on top. I need to get over there. On top. Stone cold. Red team, you, 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 you. F off. Get out! This is absolutely unreal to me. We had such great momentum up till this day, and now it's all down the toilet. The two fish, I told, was told five minutes, so I fired them. The meats were off on the counts. I am so livid right now. Oh my God, all hell is gonna break loose. My fish were dry because it's missed call. Over it, dude. I'm over it. I'm so tired of her bitching. It's just too much. It literally drives me nuts. I'm so pissed. I can't even listen to her. I can't listen to her. Dude, you should go up and defend yourself because your girl is throwing you under the bus right now. But the meats were off on the counts. If she knew she was going. Then... But she didn't tell me. She wasn't communicating. Because when Kimmy works in the station, she doesn't communicate. So you throw me on the bus? I'm not with... throwing you on the bus. Tell me what I heard. Come on. I'll tell you exactly Come what on, I heard. Tell me then. Come on. Kimmy, you better step the back. Bitch, I ain't stepping nowhere. You think I'm scared of you? I'm not scared of you. You're throwing me under the bus. Cool, bitch. It's cool. true. You call me a bitch today, and you want me to keep my mouth shut? It is so ghetto right now. Just shut up. You talk to everyone like they're a piece of no, You call her piece of and you're starting trouble like I threw him the bus. Started trouble? Did you or did you not just say that her two yes. rib eyes? I did. Okay. I'm not lying. That's it's not you. throwing no, anyone under the bus. she didn't lie to me. So you're throwing me under the bus. Yeah. Cool, bitch. It's cool. True. It's true. Cool. It's true. Do what you do, home slice, because I know ain't none of my damn steaks come back. How many fish came it's back true. for you? My two you. fish you. came back with you. You. Go your sheep. You. What's funny is that Kimmy and Robin used to be BFFs, and now all of a sudden they're arch rivals. I'm so done with you, dog. It's I'm been so done. done. Keep my you. friends close, enemies close. That's why I was keeping you close to me, Kimmy. Oh, oh, oh! There's no excuse for her to have called me a bitch when she was supposed to be my friend. You just said you keep your enemies closer, right? You just said we ain't friends, you right? Call me a bitch. You. We you ain't call, friends. You call me you. We ain't friends. You call me a bitch. You! Go you! Oh, Kimmy suck! It's two and a half hours into dinner service. Get out! F off! And Royce and Patrick from the blue team... Get out! ...and the entire red team have been kicked out of the kitchen. And Robin and Kimmy are having a little difference of opinion. The meat were off on the house. You throw me under the bus. Cool! Cool. None of my damn steaks come back. How many fish came it's back true. for you? My two. Fish you. came back for you. You. Kimmy and Robin, they've just been, um, you know, kind of going at it all night. You. We ain't friends. You call me a bitch. She you. Does. The shouting and the name calling, all that. It's like, dude, like, shut up. Oh, Kimmy sucks. While Robin offers Kimmy an interesting suggestion. Back in the kitchen, it's up to Justin. Get that first one up. Brian. First noodle. And Clemenza. I can say, Go coming out, chef. To complete dinner service for both teams. Service, please. This is really, really good. Is it really good? Yeah. Last table. Concentrate, guys. Two meatballs, one ribeye, one loup de mer. Yes, yes chef. chef. All right, let's go, guys. Ribeye. Yes, chef, coming up. Got your sauce. Okay, get it up. Got your Come sauce. Come on, go with the ribeye. You get that up, okay? Got it. Tonight, it was really tough, but Justin's strong, Clemenza's strong, I'm strong. So I'm really not surprised that we're the last three left. Let's go. Blue the mayor. To the window. Pasta going right now. Table 10, please. This is so good that I want to come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Stove's off. Let's go. Shut it down.
Holy crap. Let me just get one thing clear. Ridiculous. I started service tonight with 11 chefs. I finished the service with three. Thank you, Brian. Yes, chef. Justin, Clemenza, thank you. Yes, chef. The winning team tonight. There's no such thing. There's more passion in the valley parking before our guests arrived in this restaurant tonight. Embarrassing. Red team, blue team, back upstairs. Come up with two nominees to leave. Piss off. I can't believe that we didn't win. I mean, the entire red team was kicked out of the kitchen. But we started with five, we ended with three. Based on tonight's service, we have an easy decision. I'll go. Uh, I got Rice and Patrick tonight. For obvious reasons. I'd have to say the same thing. I didn't deserve to get nominated. I had one thing come back, but that's my team. It's not really much of a team. I really screwed the pooch on the callbacks and then on the, the last rare steak that got me thrown out of the kitchen. I mean, I, I get it, guys. I screwed it up. I, I screwed it up for myself. I screwed up for my blue team. But I'm so much better than this, and I know I have it in me. I'm going to come back strong because I'm not a quitter. I'm a fighter. All right, guys, I think we need to start talking about this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Tiff. It was too much with the screaming. Can you shut up and stop yelling at me you want to talk talk do Stop. not yell my biggest reason for nominating tiffany was that fight she got into with barbie completely unprofessional and unacceptable especially on family night that was intense i thought you guys were gonna fist fight over the oh, deep fryer i'm sick of like yelling like it just really drives me up a wall i was just trying to be clear like please don't put that down i can't handle that Barbie is the weakest person on this team, and we just had it with Barbie's attitude. We're here to cook food, we're not here to give attitude, like. <laughs> I'm gonna vote for Robin and Tiffany, so just because Tiffany, um, the pizzas came back, and that's what <laughs> us up on apps, and Robin didn't have no communication with me on fish, so. I'm not voting for myself. One of my votes for Kimmy, for miscommunicating. Here she goes with this she didn't communicate with me. I was right across to her. Yes, All I she did. had to do was look yes, at me. Yes, I did. Kimmy, do you know what? Why don't you be a woman and admit to fault? Because I didn't fault tonight. Really? This is what you do, Kimmy. At least I admit to my fault. I didn't fault or I would admit to the You told me to run the fish. That's what my fish up the first time. How many of my steaks came back to my call was off? All no, my call wasn't. Your ears need to be cleaned out, bitch. You better watch who you hey, 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 Kimmy! With no dinner service winner, both teams have to nominate two people for elimination. The men very calmly picked Rice and Patrick, but the women's deliberation... How many of my steaks came back to my call was off? ...is complete chaos. Your ears need to be cleaned out, bitch. You better watch who hey, hey, bitch. Hey, Get in my real. I am in your face. Hey, dog. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. It is ugly. They're standing this close together, and I'm just thinking, like, who's going to hit who first? Hit me, I Robin. Hit me. Because I hit me, Robin. Robin. Like you. I need to come here. Tall like no, you. Robin. Hit me. Robin. Hit me. Robin. Get the oh. out of my face. Your face. Bitch. What get are you out of do? my way. Hit me. Get the away from me. Don't even get me ghetto, Kimmy. Stop. Stop. Tonight, I am just so over the shouting and the name calling all that any conflict that's ever happened on our team, somehow Robin has her hand in it. So, yeah, I'm ready to have that cancer cut out of our team. The votes are in. Deal with it. State night. Disaster night. I mean, really embarrassing. Clemenza, first nominee, and why? Gotta go with Patrick. Putting out raw meat. A couple of dishes came back. I, I mean, at this point in the game, it's inexcusable. Second nominee, and why? Second nominee was Royce. He got thrown out as well. I mean, it's just that mistake shouldn't be made. Red team. Kimmy, first nominee, and why? Our first nominee chef is Tiffany. Because of the appetizers. She got us off to a slow start. Second nominee, and why? Our second nominee chef is Robin. 
because she pretty much lied to you and told you that she cooked the fish for three minutes and she cooked it for seven, so. What? I didn't lie to you, Chef, when I said I took the fish out at three minutes. The fish was cooked seven minutes prior, so I, miscommunication on what I said, but I did not lie to you. What? I know I've been true to myself about not lying because that's the way my mother raised me. Oh my God. Oh my God, Kimmy, please. I've been, you know what, Kimmy? If you really want to get dirty right now, we can get dirty. You think I'm scared of you? You call me a bitch today and you want me to keep my mouth shut? Guess what? There's no friends in this competition because I want to work for him. Wow. Royce, Patrick, Tiffany, Robin, step forward, please. Royce, I'm running out of patience. Tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. Chef, I got a lot of fight in me. I, I come through these doors every day with a lot of fight. I've been kicked beaten and stabbed and I keep coming back for more and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. I feel like I'm, uh, I'm getting better and better every day and I feel like I'm twice the man every day I come in here. I'm not feeling it. Patrick. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I'm a professional chef. I bring all my passion and my commitment and my drive. There's no doubt I have some rust on me on the line. I'm fighting through that. I have the heart for this. I've worked my whole life for this opportunity. What have you got left that I haven't seen? I, I, can, I can cook, I can complete the service, I can command that kitchen, chef. I can do it. Every time my back's turned, I panic because I know you're not coming forward with the goods. Don't lose faith in me. I can do it. Tiffany. Yes, chef. Do you care? Right now, I'm, I'm not done. It's just the cattiness sometimes on our team just sucks. You know what I mean? Barbie. Yes, Chef. You've been shaking your head. What the f is going on back there? Talk to me. I feel like Tiffany doesn't care about standards. She doesn't care about technique. She doesn't care about really? service. She doesn't care about professionalism, or she wouldn't have stood at the pass and turned to curse at me. Barbie, you gave me attitude me. for twice tonight. You gave me attitude. You were like, uh-uh, I'm not ready. Don't bring those up. This is the cattiness I'm talking about. I don't deal with that. If you want my opinion, I think that Barbie's the weakest person in this what? kitchen because she can't run a station by herself. Oh, hell no. She's useless. After a disastrous steak night, the blue team has nominated Patrick and Royce, and the red team has nominated Robin and Tiffany. But Tiffany has another suggestion about who should be going home. I think that Barbie's the weakest person in this kitchen because she can't run a station by herself. What? I don't want to hear your attitude or your eye rolling or your crap, honestly. She doesn't care, chef. Do you care? I do care. How much on a scale of one to 10? I care a scale of one to 10, like a nine. Robin. Yeah, chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I, I feel like I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I have more fight in me. I have not given up. I, I'm here, but I want to be here. I do have standards, but I drop off my standards sometimes because I'm trying to save someone else besides myself. Whose ass are you saving? Who is it? Tell me. I sometimes feel like I protect Kimmy. Is this true? Can yes. It? No. Yes, Not it is all. true. Yeah. Why are you lying? If you think you're saving my ass, you didn't really? save my ass in the ribeye competition, no. did you? Hey, I told you to send your ribeye. Don't turn around, Christina, because I did. Really? Are you, you're, so now I'm you're in charge even, of me, too? I'm not too? even talking to you, oh, Christina. Go ahead, girl. I'm not talking Keep to you. Talk. This is the kind Thank of God. that goes on, Chef. This is why I hate working on the red team. I prefer to be on the blue team. They're going to kick your ass? No, they won't, because they respect me, because I come in here with 250% Oh, my God. This is insane. You ladies were riding high. Success after success. And look at the state of you now. Okay. My decision is... Tiffany and Royce. Back in line. Come Care. on. Come on. Come on. Care. Just shut. That's it. Just stop. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen... Patrick, give me a jacket. Your time is done in Hell's Kitchen. Wow. 
it's not happening. And if it is, it's not fast enough. Thank you for the shot. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. You know, I had higher expectations going into this. My family's gonna be disappointed and a little sad for me, but opportunity comes along and you, you gotta grab onto it and try. It'll be great to go home though and see my wife and kids, I'll tell you that. Let me tell you something. Based on tonight's performance, I'm not done yet. Not on the back of a service like that. Robin. Give me your jacket. Yes, sir. You are leaving the red team. You're joining the blue team. Let's see how you perform now. And if you complain about the blue team the way you did about the red team, I'm going to be looking at you and you only. Yes, Chef. Nine. Good night, Chef. Good night, Good night chef. chef. Yes! Good luck to the blue team. Have fun with her. You're not going to like her, but you have fun. Robin's coming over with some hate for the red team, and she's got something to prove. Hopefully we can turn that into some positive energy and uh, make that work for the blue team. I came here to be the best. And working on the red team, they've only brought out my worst. And now the is going to be dropped because I work better with men. Patrick talked a good game, but he couldn't back it up with his cooking. So it was time for him to leave House Kitchen. Next time on House Kitchen. Tonight, there will be guests once again at our chef table. David Beckham comes to dinner. He rode in on a rainbow, carried by a unicorn. But will it be too much for the women to handle? No worries, no rush. That's the cost! Isn't that the best? Your mind must be somewhere else. We were fumbling like we'd never even been in a kitchen. And then, in the blue kitchen. Really? There's still water now, look. Something so outrageous happens. Royce, honestly, seriously, guys. What the Come here, I all of you come here. Chef Ramsay demands a private meeting. I don't know what's going on. It's like you lost it. Off. Find out who makes it back into the game. Who scores? I'm just going to give myself a pat on the back. And who gets a red card? What a dumbass. Can you all wake up? I'm shaking, I'm so mad. Next time on one of the most unpredictable... <laughs> Hell's Kitchens. What the f do? Don't give a flight. Ever. I am so pissed off. It's just like you've all given up.